Sheila is one of my best friends. Once I hit my teenage years, we were more like sisters. Sheila moved to Morgantown in 2010 and she was so excited to go to school with Skylar. <laughs> I loved Skylar. Skylar was awesome. She was just so sweet. Sheila met Rachel her freshman year and they were also inseparable. Rachel was creepy. She gave me a very odd feeling and I had asked Sheila afterwards not to ever bring her around again. The weekend before Skylar went missing, Sheila and Skylar and I had hung out and everything was normal. We joked, we laughed. When Skylar went missing, it was so strange. She was not one to run away. She loved her friends, she loved her family. I suspected that Sheila and Rachel weren't telling the whole truth, but I never thought the whole truth was them. It was late April and my mom said, I just want to give you a warning because it's going to come out that the girls had everything to do with it. I can't imagine Sheila saying, we have to do this, we have to stab her, we have one, two, three, let's go. She was just an innocent girl who was taking college classes to further her future. I have kept in touch with Sheila since she was arrested. We've been writing back and forth. Sheila has not mentioned the court hearing. She hasn't mentioned her role she played. She has been completely detached and it's almost as if she is trying to convince herself it didn't happen. I'd like people to know that Sheila isn't a psycho. She's not a sociopath. She wasn't a cat torturer. I mean, she's she was a good, good girl. Yes, she is a psychopath. She killed my daughter. She admitted she did in court. How can you say she's not a psychopath? Because I think she is. And everybody out there thinks she is, too. Let me say, I, I appreciate your being here. And we know you had nothing to do with this. You, and I'm you, sorry. I didn't no, 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 okay. no, listen. You are entitled to your voice, and you say it. I, I just want to acknowledge that nobody thinks you were involved in this or an, a, a, an element or an agent uh, in this. And I, I think what Dave is saying is it, it almost sounds like you're defending her and saying she's a victim as well. I think I misworded myself. I don't mean that she isn't now. I mean that she wasn't. There were no signs of anything weird. She never said anything weird. She never came across as the type of person who could.